Now we'll go over some of the manageable light properties in Rhino. So to do this we have to select the light and come down here to the properties tab and we have to change this drop box to light which brings up the light properties. And so you see there's several options you can change. You can turn the light off um, if for some reason you want to render this thing and not have any lights. So this is what the default lighting looks like in Rhino which is pretty gross. And then when you turn it on you can see the spotlight renders. You can change the color of the light so we can come in here and make this light blue if we wanted to. So you've got colored light. You can change the shadow intensity, which is basically the darkness of the shadow. So if we come in here and make this 50% and render it, you can see the shadows are no longer pure black. They still are on the shapes that aren't receiving light, but that's just due to how Rhino handles light and not due to the shadows. So the shadows are changeable, this uh, shading on the shape is not. And then finally, we can change the spotlight hardness. And so what that is, is it's this center circle in the spotlight. And so if we make it smaller, then this area is gonna be highlighted and everything between this circle and this circle the light is going to slowly start to fade out so when we render this we have a fairly small circle and a fairly nice looking bleed for the spotlight and if we change this up to here you'll get a pretty crisp edge on your spotlight when you render more like that. So there's a slight gradient, very, very slight, almost non-noticeable.